the juicy juice. Here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Lately, I decided to want to treat myself and try the new fruit fetish line from Milani. I, I can't even talk today. Like, what the hell? Have you ever had a dream that you um you had you could do anything? <laughs> so I went to Target. I got my base. Ooh. And some brows stuff. I almost said went to Ulta. I can't go to Ulta. I can't. It's closed. It's closing time. Quarantine. I ordered on Ulta.com and I got some really good stuff. Box is empty. Um. Yeah. yeah. If you guys want to watch me try the new Milani fruit fetish line as well as trying a full face of Milani, definitely keep on watching. Also, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna try as my primer, since I didn't get, get one, I don't know why. why, I decided to try the Fruit Fetish Setting Spray as a primer. So I'm gonna shake, shake this, thing this thing up, and I got the shade um, Mango Coconut. The shade. I got the scent Mango Coconut. <sighs> mango Coconut. Coconut. Mini Hurricane, but not bad. <laughs> Ooh. This thing is amazing and the packaging is totally cute. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Milani What is this? Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And I'm gonna use shade Golden Tan. Um, now I may be late to this. I know a lot of people love this foundation, but I figured Okay. If I was gonna try Milani, might as well try everything. So cute has a pump. I'm gonna take a pump and a half. I'm gonna take a little sponge. Ooh. Let's see what happens. So I did do a good shade match, especially being in grandma's pool. Get tan real fast. So far, this has really good coverage. Um, very happy. Very, ha very happy. So that's a pump and a half on. I cannot complain. Moving on. Well guys, this is the moment where it doesn't become a full face Milani, Milani tutorial, tutorial anymore. anymore. No, God, please, no, 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 no! But don't worry, we're still gonna review the fruit fetish. <laughs> By the way, I can't talk today, so bear with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What the heck is A, B, C, D, E, F, G mean? Conversation is over. By the way, I am using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. How has everyone been? Good? Okay. Perfect. When you feel like something isn't coming together, just smack some concealer on and it'll be good. Moving on. I'm going to lightly take a little bit of the Le Messier setting powder and I'm gonna use that just to set my T-zone just a little bit. It's summer. We don't want the drama. And we definitely don't want the creasing. creasing. I have wrinkles. I can't afford that. Really just trying to only set the T-zone. Want to keep a nice glow. Keep it juicy, juicy. Everywhere else, but not here. Not here. Perfect. Next, since I also don't have a Milani bronzer, bronzer or setting, setting powder, powder, I'm gonna go in with the Mac NC45 Studio Fix powder, and hopefully that's good enough. Wait, I didn't Just add a little sunburn, sunburn. like that. Down the neck, neck, around the ears, and definitely on the forehead. We're just gonna take this moment to snatch up the nose a little bit and then we'll move on to the, the brows. Perfect. Perfect, so while we have that on and we're, you know, <laughs> sacrificing being overbaked. Oh no, I prefer the Molly's. We'll move on to brows. I'm gonna go on with the new Milani brow pencil. This one is in shade Expresso. It claims to be a smooth texture, quickly dries and builds up texture. Let's see about that. The main thing that drew me to this product was... I'm in the ghetto. <laughs> okay. The main thing that drew me to this product was the fact that it has a precise tip and um, I like that because it really lets you go in with the brow and take your time filling it in and you know gives you a little bit more control versus like a jumbo waxy pencil I, I can't, can't stand, stand those. those but I like to try them Ooh. I hate that these things are so hard to, to open, open. <laughs> you just do a little twist hopefully I don't freaking break it before I even get a chance to, to try, try it like what the hell I wasn't even trying to be dramatic, guys. It's just literally ridiculous at this point. Ridiculous. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Get the 
God, I hate you piece of shit. Let me actually just wipe this off because I feel like I'm gonna be stuck with cakey face nose and nobody wants cakey, cakey face, face nose. nose. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna spoolie the brows up first. Now I'm gonna lift this up. Am I the only one who's obsessed with a fresh brow pencil when it's nice and sharp? Ooh. What do you guys think? One brow done, one, one more to go. go. All right guys, and for now, that's as good as it's gonna get with the brows, let's move on. Next guys, we're gonna move in with the Milani Trio Highlighter. This one is in 03 Rose, Rose Gold, Gold Stellar Light, Light Edition. Look at this guys, this is literally beautiful. beautiful. So beautiful. beautiful. Most likely gonna probably use these two shades and then maybe a little splash of this one, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use this one kind of like a blush combo and then I'm gonna highlight with maybe these two and do a little concoction. Con so let's take that bronzy shade on more of the angled side. Whoa. So literally like that's what I'm talking about. Like when you think about a highlighter, like I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed, obsessed already. already. Like I'm so happy I got this. I literally used a very little bit and I got a lot of it. A lot of it. Whoa. That is insane. And that's literally this shade right here. Like I'm going, I'm going bananas. There's not even a lot of fallout. Whoa. Guys, I'm like. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. This is beautiful. beautiful. Let's try a little bit of the gold shade. Blinded into another universe. Obsessed. One eternity later. I think this is good enough. In another video, we'll try this lighter shade. Ooh. Do another spray of the Milani setting spray and mango coconut. <sighs> I feel like I'm on a tropical vacation. In quarantine. quarantine. Next thing I'm gonna try guys is the Milani Fruit Fetish. I got the Strawberry Lemonade Lip Balm and it's really cute packaging. Open it up. Looks to have some pigment. Whoa. Let's see what happens. Whoa. This is literally such a nice shade. My lips feel high-end. They feel classy, classy sophisticated, bougie, bougie, and ratchet. Classy, bougie, ratchet. That's just how they feel. This is beautiful. I need to go order like five more of every, every single shade, shade because I think I became like a Milani, Milani fanatic. fanatic. Let's move on to the next step and hope we don't f it up. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Fruit Fetish Stay Bright. What is that? Stay Put Bright. Stay Put Bright. Fruit Fetish Stay Put Bright eyeliner. And this one is He Win It Real. He Win It. He Win It. He win it. <laughs> And I'm not gonna use this for a liner. I actually wanted to try to do little neon freckles. Neon like Kiwi. That's how it looks. Pretty cool. Oh, oh. I think that looks so cute in a bizarre alien way. I like it. All right, guys, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys really do enjoy it. I had so much fun, so, so much fun, fun playing around with Milani products. I'm literally obsessed. Um, I think this is why I joined Boxy Charm this morning. So if you guys want to watch future videos of Boxy Charm unboxing and reviewing, definitely let me know. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye.